Hi everyone, my name is Warren Bennett, the Head Professional of Chesterfield Golf Club. It's lovely to have you along for another video. Thank you very much for joining me. And as you can see, I'm on the putting green here at Chesterfield. I'm going to give you my top five exercises that you can do on the putting green to improve your putting. Because as we know, putting is a very individual part of the game. Everyone's different, everyone's got different ways they stand to the ball, different grips and different putters. There are some fundamentals that you need for putting, but this is all about trying to improve your putting in terms of drill work. So let me get going on number one. So number one is the string. So this has got to untie this very quickly, bear with me. So you can buy these anywhere, Amazon, in the shop here at Chessfield. As you can place it anywhere, you can see this is a pretty long one. I think this is like five meters. And the good news about the string is what you can do and the benefits of having the string, bear with me, is you can move where you're aiming. So this is a left to right putt. Let's start, let's see if this is straight. And what you can do with the string is you can learn what straight looks like. So obviously I've got it about a ball outside, start it along that line and you can tell, well I've, luckily I've lined it up straight, but you can tell what straight looks like. And having the putter aimed correctly is one of the most important um, aspects of putting. So having this, so back in the day we used to put a chalk line on the green, but the good news about this, this is temporary and the biggest thing is you can change in terms of Going the other side, you can change in terms of the way the putt breaks, so you can actually move it for different aspects. This is about a ball outside and you're trying to start it along that and you can see it breaking. So it's one of the best exercises that you can do for consistency and learning what straight looks like. Plus, when you are looking down, you put in the ball, bisecting the string, bisecting the middle of the ball, and you can put the putter behind and then you can glimpse to see where you're aiming. So obviously this is a, a ball outside left. So I know now what that looks like. Because remember, just like the old Harold Swash used to say, every putt's a straight putt. All you're trying to do is start the ball online. And this string exercise is one of the, my favorites. Because away from technique, you've got to learn to start this ball consistently straight. So you can see this one, maybe I need to aim it a little bit further out to the left because it's downhill. So we just move it slightly. At the same time, I can actually see my stroke. You can see even that isn't enough. So the good news about the string compared to the chalk line is the chalk line, you had to get it right straight away because obviously you're pinging of chalk line on the green. This one is you're just now constantly moving it. So let's give this a little bit more. Straight along the, the string line and you can see I might have over egged it or let's just play around and hit this one a little bit softer this time. You can see it starts to break. So it takes a bit of time to kind of set it up so it's probably between the two there. Let's see if we can hold a couple before we move on to the second exercise. You're visualising what straight looks like as you look down and you can actually see the path of your putter as well whilst you do it. And you can see for stroke maintenance exercises, this is one of the best ever. Anyway, I'm going to hit this a bit firmer so it stays on line. There you see, it's a great, great exercise to do. Remember, stroke maintenance and making sure there's consistency in your practice is one of the main things. Right, okay, let's get on to number two. Right, so the second exercise is called the ladder drill. So obviously it speaks for itself. So what we're learning, we're learning to putt from the same position, but just gradually get longer. So I've got five here. You don't have to do it with five, but you want to try and get yourself further away. And remember, you're playing, you're kind of a competition against yourself here. So you're working. Start off small. Not the best stroke in the world, that one, but you're carrying on to see how far you can go until you miss one, if you miss one. And that gives you kind of the sweet spot to see where you need some work and some improvement. 
So you keep on working like that and see how far you can go before you miss or see how many you can hold in a row. A five, obviously this is a pretty easy one. So that's basically saying I'm pretty good from 18 inches and two feet. Now it starts to get a little bit more tricky. Remember, we've got a line, string exercise to line us up. This putt looks like it's a little bit right to left, so I'm gonna allow for a little bit more break than I did from the last putt. So the ladder exercise is a great one. It's a continuation from the string exercise, but it's a good one to get the stroke maintenance correct and then see how far you can go until you miss one. And let's get on to number three. Right, exercise number three that you can do to improve your putting is called the north, south, east and west. So what you can do, I've got a kind of a standard length putter here. You can do this any distance. Take a tee. And obviously it's called north, south, east and rest. Pretty obvious. You're practicing the same distance putt. Obviously now you've got different contours. We're on quite a big slope here. So this is going to be a left to right one. And you can just go round, see how many times you can go round and how competent you are from this distance. So obviously now it's going to be completely opposite to that left to righter. Start it up the right. This is straight down, so it gets used to putting from four different places on the putting green. And obviously this is now recreating a bit more what you would have on the golf course. And from there you can go another stage further and go another grip distance away. So you're increasing the distance all the way around and you're practicing how you'd be good from let's say three or four feet all the way around. Remember this is here for you to practice different stages and different types of elements of putting. And you're playing against yourself just like the ladder drill how many times you can go around and you can take take note. Ooh. You can either start again or just carry on and see if you can beat your personal best. Two out of three so far on the three foot range or four foot range. Remember there's stroke maintenance with putting. And there's also exercises to give yourself a little bit recreating what we have out on the golf course. Because when we're out on the golf course, obviously it's different. When you've got a card in your pocket, as we all know, it's really different. This is recreating something like that, putting a bit of pressure onto yourself. Right, okay, so that's the north, south, east and west exercise. Let's get on to number four. Okay, folks, number four is called the box drill. Now you can do this with any, I've got these alignment sticks here and you kind of, kind of put it, an alignment stick back away from the hole. And what you're doing here now is working on pace because remember there's two elements of putting, there's aim and pace. This is now a pace exercise, you can do this this is a pretty straight putt, slightly uphill, and you're looking to obviously hold it. You've got it from about 12 feet here, but you're looking for the ball to stay inside the box. So you're keeping it really, it's obviously relatively easy. You can make that box as small or as wide as you like. Remember, it's all about pace. You really don't even have to putt to a hole. You can just putt to a, to a, a tee. You're working out, trying to get this putter working at the same speed all the time. Now you can change this slightly and you can do it different lengths, make it a little harder. This box, and obviously you, you do it, you suit it how you feel comfortable. And obviously you can gradually bring that distance in. So now I've got less leeway between the edge of the hole and the stick. So I've got about a foot. So let's see, I'm obviously trying to hold it. I'm not trying to touch the stick on the back of the hole there. So now I'm changing the way I'm having to distance in terms of stroke length and see and judge how good my feel is. So it's a really good feel exercise for your putting. The box drill. Remember the, the objective is to not hit the sticks. So it's a little bit of aim, but the aim isn't too difficult. Really good exercise. Right, let's get on to the final one. 
the fifth and final exercise to improve your putting is called the gate exercise. Really popular if you ever watch Tiger warm up before his round. And what you're working on here is club face deviation and path. So if you put the, the tee pretty close either side of the end of the, your putter. Now, obviously the objective now is to come back as you start without any deviation and hitting the tees. Oh, right, okay, so I need a bit of work with my alignment. Let's come back. Remember, you don't really have to putt to a hole here, but hey, why not? It's a little bit of pressure onto yourself. Okay, just let it happen. Swing through and just see if you're going to hit the in or outside tee. Now, obviously, the longer the swing, the harder this is going to be. I've got like a five, six footer straight up the hill here. And that works out pretty good, although it's missing, but the objective is to not hit either the inside or outside tee. You're looking for this putter head in terms of path to swing straight back and through. So they're the five exercises I would really recommend because putting can get a little bit tedious and you're looking for some consistency because we always try and rush to the practice area and work on our swings, which obviously is very important, but putting is going to be you know, half your shots, slightly under, depending on your handicap, obviously. But it's the, one of the biggest elements that you can shave scores off your round pretty quickly. Because if you hold that three footer, or you hold that four footer, or if you don't three putt that you used to, you can save shots off your handicap. And that's what you're doing, you're looking for that consistency. So the more you can do that, I would guarantee, the more you can do these exercises, which are working on stroke maintenance, path, pace, aim, all those things, I guarantee you'll improve your putting overnight. And what you're looking for is the consistency. Just like your long game and your swing, you're looking for the consistency of practice. So I hope that helps. So thank you for tuning into the video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. For myself and Trev, cheerio.